The Laligopelia is one of the most common invertebrate laboratory dissections, and has also been instrumental in research leading to what we know about our own nervous system. Please select a lesson, and then press click here to begin. Nervous system. In this lesson you will do the following. Find parts of the brain, the stella ganglion, and giant axon. Remove a statocyst and view it under the microscope. Remove an eye and view the lens under the microscope. The nervous system of the squid is controlled by the squid's brain, which is located within the center of the head. Press the magnifier button. The brain is divided into four major pairs of ganglia, where each pair has their own specific function. From our current view, you can see the pedal, visceral, and brachial ganglia pairs. Press on the pedal ganglia to continue. The paired pedal ganglia control the muscular siphon, and are raised slightly higher, as they are closer to it. Next, click on the brachial ganglia. The brachial ganglia control the movement of the arms and tentacles, as well as the buccal membrane directly below them. Now find and click on the visceral ganglia. The pair of visceral ganglia control the mantle functions of locomotion and respiration, as well as the movement of fins, gills, and chromatophore patterning. This extra load of tasks requires the squid to have well-developed neurons to transmit those extra electrical signals from the visceral ganglia. Find and click on one of the bobustellate ganglia to continue. Each stellate ganglion is connected to the visceral ganglia through a large bundle of nerves that run up alongside the liver and burrow through the siphon retractor muscle. Radiating outward from each stellate ganglion are approximately 10 individual nerve fibers called axons that transfer the visceral ganglia's electrical messages to different parts of the mantle. These axons are roughly 100 to 1000 times bigger than mammalian nerve fibers, allowing messages sent throughout the mantle to move very fast. Due to its size, one of these axons called the giant axon has led to much of our knowledge about nerve function. Find and press on one of the giant axons. In 1963, the Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three scientists, who used this very same axon, to determine how nerve cells electrically work. Continue by pressing the pedal ganglia one more time. Underneath the pedal ganglia are the paired cerebral ganglia. This is the control center of the squid's brain. The cerebral ganglia receive and interpret messages from the eyes and statocysts which are sensors that help the squid stay balanced. Press the scalpel button on the toolbar, to get a closer look at these organs. Make incisions for the eye and statocyst. Then press the forceps button on the toolbar. Place the statocyst on the microscope slide, and press the microscope button on the toolbar.
as the image comes into focus you will see the irregular shaped cavity of the statocyst. Small rounded objects called statolites are contained within this cavity. When the squid moves, the statolites touch the walls, alerting the squid to movement or imbalance. Press done to continue. Press on the head, just to the left of the eye incision, to force the eye out. Then pick up the eye, and place it to the right. Squid eyes are very similar to our own eyes, except that they do not have rods or cones. They can discriminate polarized light, which helps them hunt creatures that are shiny or transparent. Some of the features similar to our own eyes are the lens, cornea, retina, and iris. Press the forceps buttons so we can get a closer look at the lens. Carefully pull the lens from the eye, and place it on the microscope slide. Then press the microscope button. Focus the view, to examine the structure of the squid lens. Press done to continue. You have now reached the end of this lesson.